Hello Strongholders and welcome to another Feature Spotlight video. My name is Nick at Firefly Studios and today we're going to be talking to you about one thing and one thing only, AI artificial intelligence. With or without multiplayer and online functionality, AI is one of the most important aspects of modern video games and it's something we're looking to improve on drastically in Warlords. We pay close attention to almost every tweet, YouTube comment and Discord message about Strongholds. Yep, even the ones that make absolutely no sense. And AI is obviously something that comes up quite a lot these days for RTS games in general. In a modern RTS like Stronghold, players want AI who are challenging, but also who behave fairly and similarly to human opponents, depending on who they're going up against. We don't really talk about it too much, but a core feature of the Stronghold games is the ability to go up against characterful AI like the Rat, the Pig, Saladin, Lionheart, and of course now Genghis Khan. A new Stronghold game and a new cast of characters means plenty of new opportunities to improve our AI, so here are four ways we're improving the AI in Stronghold Warlords. The AI plays a huge part in every Stronghold game, but none more so than in Stronghold Warlords, where it needs to attack, defend, run a good economy and control the Warlords. The good news is we've got it to a good state. The economy runs well, they defend from procedural castles now, and they attack with a sophistication we've not achieved before whilst still controlling the Warlords well. But suffice to say, the AI no longer cheats. It no longer needs a helping hand to provide the fun gameplay that a Stronghold game must provide. It allows you to go in there and affect their economy, to pin them down and to stop them from attacking you by economic means. The actual details, however, I'm now going to hand over to Stephen and he can show you in more depth how they do each of these things. AI castle building has been completely revamped for Stronghold Warlords. Castles are no longer picked from a predefined list for each character. Instead, each AI has their own unique style which guides how their castle develops. At the start of each skirmish game, each AI will look at the space inside its estate and intelligently work out where to put its walls, gates and towers to fit the space it has. This means that every skirmish map will see its own set of customised AI castles. Town building is also no longer predefined. There are no build orders or hard-coded build locations in Stronghold Warlords. Instead, the AI works out what it needs to build at a given time based on its own understanding of its situation, taking into account factors like what buildings and resources it already has. For example, one of the first things it does is build several wood camps near the bamboo trees because it knows it needs a lot of wood to get started. Once it's accumulated a lot of surplus wood in the stockpile, it'll send its wood camps to sleep freeing up those workers for other tasks. If the town catches fire, it'll scramble to build water pots if it doesn't have any. Everything it does is dynamic and reactive, based on how the game is developing. Trading is also smarter. The AI carefully decides which resources it has in surplus and sells them when it needs more gold. For example, stone is sold at a much lower threshold once the castle has finished building. Similarly, if the AI wants to place a building and doesn't have the required resources, it'll work out how important that building is and use gold to buy them if it's deemed high enough priority. Previously, defending the castle was pretty simple. The AI would train some defensive troops, send them to some towers and leave them there. Now, before the AI is even attacked, it'll look out for enemy armies on the map and move its archers to the walls and towers closest to them. Previously, the AI relied on cheating a set of troops from its keep to help it defend against attacks. That's gone. Once the AI is put under pressure, it'll do everything it can to save the Lord. First by ramping up troop production, before selling all its resources and eventually demolishing its whole castle in order to raise the gold needed to assemble a last stand, exactly as a human player would. Previously, the AI had to assign its troops either to a defending or attacking, and they'd be fixed in one group or the other. Now, all troops are used dynamically. The AI is able to form an attack force out of troops already defending the castle, leaving just a few behind as a reserve force. It'll also send an attacking army back to defend the castle if it comes under attack. The AI is smarter about choosing which troops to recruit. Troops with weapons in the armory are given priority over those without. More expensive troops like the samurai are saved until the AI is well built up, so it doesn't get stuck trying to save up a lot of gold early on. 
Micromanagement of troops and siege weapons is an important part of making the AI feel like a challenging, intelligent opponent. In Warlords, the system has been completely overhauled, with specific behaviours defined for specialist troops and siege weapons. That means they'll move about and choose attack targets, much more like a human would. Melee troops will stay close together, enabling them to guard archers and siege weapons while staying in the buff zones of the General and Imperial Bannerman. Mongolian horse archers will attempt to stay at range while attacking their targets. Fire oxen will spread out across different targets. Catapults will switch to targeting defences once they've broken a gap in the wall for troops to move through. The AI will increase its army size over time, adding siege weapons and launching bigger attacks, giving players the chance to defend against some truly epic sieges. So that's how the AI attack, defend, and run their economies. But in Warlords, there's one big extra thing they need to do. They need to run the Warlords. They need to decide who to attack, when to attack them, and what to do with them when they've got them. So maybe they want to go for the Warlords close to them. Or maybe they want to go for the Warlords close to you, pin you down. Maybe they want some Tigers to help them attack later. Maybe they haven't got a lot of wood, so they're going to get some Oxen Warlords. They also need to decide then how to upgrade them and which edicts to use and when, in the same way that you would do. I think we'll know and you will know that we've done our job properly when a warlord, for example, sends a pincer movement at the same time as launching their big attack. And you would kind of have to look at the warlord and go, well, the AI and go, well, that's what I would have done. If we can get that right, and I think we're pretty close now, then you'll know we've done our job well. Choosing which Warlords to capture when is a key part of the strategy in Stronghold Warlords. Previously, the AI would pick targets more or less randomly. Now, the AI will choose its best target by working out how useful each Warlord is to it, prioritizing those which are most valuable as well as those which are closest and easiest to capture. Once the AI has a Warlord under control, it'll intelligently work out which edicts are most useful to it. For example, if it needs to expand its town, it'll request wood. If it's about to attack an enemy, it'll send out a Warlord attack to target the enemy simultaneously for a two-pronged assault. Now, that's just a few of the ways we're planning to improve both the AI generally in Strongholds and also adapt it for this unique new entry in the series. There are, of course, related topics we haven't covered today, such as the ability to set up custom options in multiplayer and also difficulty settings in the main story campaign, but we'll be covering those in future videos. You can expect more details on multiplayer and skirmish in the coming months, but if you like the sound of our AI improvements, please do wishlist Stronghold Warlords on Steam. A wishlist helps us out immensely as a small independent developer, and it will let you know exactly when Stronghold Warlords is available on Steam. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure you give us a like and subscribe here on Firefly Studios YouTube for more Stronghold and Roman's Age of Caesar goodness every month.